Where can we find 80 to 100 million extra dollars in the beef industry? Scientists say developing genetic tools to limit bovine respiratory disease, or BRD, will do just that. Without including labor costs for animals in the feedlot that get sick or the loss in feed efficiency, we have identified that between 80 and over $100 million could be gained per year if there was selection for BRD. And that's just in the feedlot industry. That doesn't include, you know, cow calves or anything. But that shows you that there's a, really an opportunity for us to reduce the prevalence of the disease and also increase the bottom line. Currently in a multi-university five-year study, researchers from several disciplines are looking at BRD. We found that there's a moderate heritability for uh, BRD susceptibility in the feedlot. Uh, it's about seven. 17% if we just say they're sick or not sick. If we're a little more definitive on how sick they are, the heritability actually goes up to about 29%. And so that then impacts how much gain that we can make on selection. They know there is a genetic connection. Now the team is working to uncover the details. So what we're trying to do is identify the actual regions that are uh, responsible for the susceptibility and so then we could select against cattle that have that susceptibility and so then the idea is is that we would be able to offer what those regions are to the cattle industry so they could have those animals genotyped at birth and decide whether they wanted to maintain those animals in their breeding herd knowing that their offspring and them as well would be less likely to have that disease so we could reduce the incidence of disease over generations answers are just on the horizon. The research project wraps up in the next two years, and they're optimistic about the practical results. I'm Cindy Campbell.